Well, I thought I would take a moment and, well, you know, it's kind of my afternoon tea time anyway. It's morning for you, I'm certain, but I like to have my tea every afternoon and a little yimmer yammer in with you. And I thought I'd share with you some goodness about our fall collection because there's so much goodness and maybe you haven't seen all our videos and there are a whole load of them, but this is kind of a freshie on all the good stuff that went into this collection. And there's so much inspiration and you know I can ramble. And if you don't know me, you'll learn very quickly that I really can ramble. So I'll keep it short and jump right in. When you're designing a collection that is this layered and luscious and has all this goodness, for me, you know, it just depends, but sometimes it starts at the place of color, sometimes it starts at the place of texture, sometimes it starts at just an embellishment, just a really great embellishment. Okay, watch me just spill my tea all over while I'm talking with you. Sometimes just a really great embellishment can get you going. For instance, this fabulous sweater I have on. We created this amazing belt. Something so simple as this gets me just wild and squirrely. Hopefully you too soon. And you know, it's just all handmade feeling and kind of me channeling my 70s childhood. And you know, it's delicious and it's backed in this gorgeous sweater fabric. This is the kind of stuff that gets me going. And a whole collection can begin off of something as simple as that. Yeah, let's keep adding those kind of layers into our collection. Hey, we need more stretchy stuff because it needs to be comfortable. That's another key point for me is comfort, comfort, comfort. If it's not comfortable, I am not one of those people People who will suffer for fashion. No, thank you, I will not do it. It just doesn't work for my life. And so, you know, I'm always looking for ways to create really beautiful designs that you guys are gonna be inspired by, that you wanna keep coming back and sort of collecting, if you will. Because I look at each one of the things that we design almost as a beautiful piece of art, if you will. I mean, this is such a great example. And it makes me so excited, this beautiful little blazer with all of its yummy pops of color and, you know, combining it with this beautiful green lusciousness and this wonderful lining. Linings make me squirrely. I know they do you because you guys write me these letters and you tell me that you love all those little, little bits and pieces that are just for you. No one else may ever see them. It's sort of like lingerie but it's so special and you want to feel really good in it, that's the kind of stuff that gets me going. Even like the buttons. I mean, the buttons are a big deal for me too because it's another one of those, you know, not everyone is coming that close to you, but you know it's really, really special. And when we're playing around with designing things, you know, a beautiful button that's, you know, aged brass that has this gorgeous enamel on it, yeah, I mean, I have books and books and books of just vintage buttons. That's how crazy that kind of stuff makes me. Or, you know, this beautiful blazer that has all these beautiful flowers. This is something that could have easily, you know, it could be inspired by anything. I mean, I'm a huge gardener too. So I love, you know, in the springtime when the peonies come out and they just get, you know, they look like this all just wafting along through my garden. And that's the kind of stuff that, you know, can inspire a whole line along the edge of a blazer. Just so beautiful and interesting. And, you know, I always think it's interesting to know where someone's inspiration comes from, which is why I want to share it with you guys, because, you know, it's those little things that I think help make stuff that much more special. This is another thing that I just love is this beautiful um, handwork on this gorgeous um, collar here. And, you know, some of you guys have heard me talk about um, that my French grandmother grew up living in our house. And honestly, so much of me going through my grandmother's closet and opening drawers and finding all these amazing millinery goods and beading. And I swear it's why I do what I do today. I remember finding my grandfather's sleeveless t-shirts and then taking all of her trims and running down to this little craft room we had and sewing just rows and rows and rows of these little trimmings onto these little t-shirts when I was in the seventh grade. And I'm sure my grandmother was beside herself, delighted that I was actually doing that kind of thing. But it's still what I do. I still take all these little things and put them together. And, you know, our team gets really excited about all these layers and these embellishments and these bits and pieces. So, you know, I always want to share it with you because I know you're interested too. I know you're inspired too. So that's just one little piece of what really makes me tick.